Alright guys, welcome back to Warframe. We're here doing the Sands of Anaros story mission. And you can see we've just completed the uh, Maniac uh, third vessel. We've filled that, so now we can take that back to the uh, Desert Tomb. Now this time we're going to defeat the uh, Tomb Protector. And he's quite tough, so there's a few things that you might need to set up before you start. One thing I recommend is you add a uh, anti-toxin mod to your Warframe. This gives you toxic resistance. Because uh, one thing the Tomb Protector will do to you is he'll give you a uh, toxic debuff. Which will give you damage over time. Uh, toxic damage. So you want to resist that as much as you can. So the anti-toxin will help a lot in uh, mitigating his attack. So I need to uh, boost that up a little bit in the mod station. I want to get it right up to the top, which requires 620 endo. So that gives you 45% toxic resistance, which is pretty good. So I'll go over to the mod station and I'll sell a few mods to get, get enough endo to boost that one. So this is uh, the strategy that I used to defeat this boss. So uh, I'll go through the steps. And the good thing about this strategy is it doesn't rely on any, any particular Warframe. It's just uh, anybody can do this. Um, you could rely on Warframe skills for particular Warframes, but then that doesn't help a lot of people, so this one I think anybody can do. So there's the Anti-Toxin mod, 45%. So the next thing um, you'll want to do is uh, have a look at your primary weapon. So mine's the Com. doesn't really matter what your weapon is, just go to your primary weapon and uh, make sure that you have uh, a large amount of elemental damage. So I've got heat damage here. Operator, Ordis wonders, what are you thinking about? So the idea here is that when you're shooting the uh, Tomb Protector you're actually adding um, damage over time, elemental damage. So for me it will be heat damage over time that you can do to him while, while you're shooting which just helps you take him down a bit faster. Now the third thing I want to recommend you guys do is um, take a look at uh, health modules that you can drop on the ground. You put them in your gear wheel, so you've got the health restore large here, which is trickier to build. You have to scan the jade leaf and the thresh cones on earth to build this one. Uh, there is an easier option, you can just build the, uh, the squad health restore. This one, small one. That one's really, really easy to construct. Doesn't take a lot of resources. And will just give you a bit of a health boost um, if you find that your health is being attacked. So I'm going to build the squad one, just because it's easy. But yeah, feel free to go for the large, um, large health. Uh, so go down to S for squad. Let's build this one. Takes a minute to build. So I'm actually going to build uh, like 10 of these. So then we go to the arsenal station and we equip it in the gear wheel. So you can see I've also got in the gear wheel a vapor spectre. I've got six vapor spectres. So that's the next thing I'm going to recommend is that you have a uh, spectre helping you out as well if you're soloing this. Because uh, this, this boss is quite hard so uh, this is one of the ways that I defeated him quite easily. So I've got my health restores, I've got my vapor spectre. Which I think for me is just a standard vault. Doesn't really matter what sort of spectre you've got. Just gives you a bit of um, support. And then we can go into the desert tomb. Because the other thing it will do is the, the spectre can do a bit of tank tanking for you. So he'll take a lot of the focus off of you. Okay, so we've got our things all planned out. Let's go and have a go. Cut them down. Make them fear this place. The Grenier should be swept away. He's not a big fan of the Grenier. Probably should really save my uh, weapon ammo and just go for that melee before I get to the uh, tomb. And 
save as much ammo as I can. Because I've tried this one before and uh, and failed, and you do um, do kind of run out of ammo quite easily, so uh, conserving ammo is a great idea. Metis. Here's the entrance to the tomb around this corner. In we go. Quickly, quickly, my sweet dune, they're coming. I tried so hard to forget. Okay, so we have to go and place the vessel. Okay, we get the next vessel. Quickly, in here. Don't make a sound, Barra. Here. Hold these grains in your hand tight. Inaros will protect you. It wasn't me I was worried about. <laughs> what do you want? No, you have no right. Inaros. 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 No, no, it's just me. Inaros. Inaros. No. <laughs> Uh, no wonder Barrow is scarred, he had to watch his mother get killed. But Inoros never came. You've shown me why I came here, Tenno. Not for riches. The doors are closing again. Prove that you're worthy of Inoros' strength one last time. Okay, so I just launched the uh, Vapor Spectre. And here comes the Tomb Protector now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stay in these tunnels. Is a really good strategy and I'll show you why. They have a lot of trouble negotiating these tight tunnels which is to our advantage and you can see that the tomb protector is kind of focused on the uh, spectre at the moment which helps us as well. Okay so he's gotten down to a point where he goes into his sarcophagus and then out comes the uh, tomb protector effigy which is another, like another stone creature and you can see here, if I stay in these tunnels here, he gets stuck on the ceiling. He can't come in too far. So we can keep a bit of distance between this guy and us. And this is also where um, a bit of elemental damage will also help. Just using my secondary weapon here just to conserve a bit of ammo. So I'm using the primary on the tomb protector. I'm using uh, the secondary on the effigies. See, he's not really going to hit us, he's uh, stuck near the wall. 
Okay, we're back to the team protector. Let's see where he's at. So if I, stay, if I stay close to the wall here, he will have a bit of trouble negotiating the corner. And he'll keep his distance a little bit. He will give you a uh, toxic debuff if you get too close to him. And uh, okay, he's gone back to the sarcophagus. So the tomb protectors on us again. The effigy. You can see he's got his head stuck on the ceiling there. So stay in these tunnels. Get a bit of protection. See he got through that time. See my secondary uh, weapon's got uh, electric effect on it. So he's getting uh, electric damage over time. To the protector. Where is he? Oh, he's put the toxin on me. So I'm taking a little bit of damage, but uh, hopefully my mod's mitigating it. You can see my health is going down. really pop out my uh, health pad sometime soon. There he goes, back into the sarcophagus. I think this time we get two, uh, two effigies. Here we go. Again, we'll try and trap them in these tunnels. <laughs> My health is nearly zero, so... gotten in, it's time to find another cave. Should have done that earlier, actually. I think my uh, spectre is going to go down pretty soon. The spectre is kind of good, it keeps the heat off you for a while. So now I'm going to head back to the other tunnel. Might have to pop out another spectre as well. Alright, here they come. get some uh, flame damage on them. So I'm going to try and keep them lit up with flame as much as I can. Just because I don't have a lot of ammo left, so if I can damage them with the flame attack, it's all the better.
flames on them. Just really conserving am ammo a lot now, I think. Let the fire do the work. There we go. So this should be the last time we need to defeat the Tomb Protector. And my ammo's run out. <laughs> Onto the melee. You can see he's toxin me again. Ah. Okay, he did go down. But I went down My as well. My mother's call will be answered. Inaros will rise again. Come home, Tenno. So yeah, guys, that's how I did it. Um, hopefully that helps you out. I think it's a strategy that you can use for uh, pretty much any Warframe. Like I said, I'm Mastery Rank 6, so I'm not too high up. So it should be achievable. The Inner Inneros uh, Systems Blueprint there from the last Sacred Vessel. She was gone. But somehow you let her speak again. You made me face my past. Made me remember who I was. Take his relics and let him rise again. I couldn't think of selling them anyway. For me, these few grains of sand are all the treasure I need. Both of us know why Inaros couldn't have saved her. He wasn't able to listen then. But things are different now. Am I right? Okay. So that's the end of this episode guys, I hope you liked it. Quest complete. So click like if you enjoyed this uh, series, Sands of Inaros, and um, click subscribe if you want to see more uh, stories in the Warframe series. And we'll see you next time.